Hello. Um, I am just catching up on my vlog or whatever. Um, today is the 1st of June and it's my first day back at work. I'm going to start that tonight. Um, so I corrected my sleep schedule so I woke up around it's not exactly correct but I think I woke up around 1 p.m. which is about two or three hours before I would normally wake up but uh, it's hard to flip it in one day and yesterday on the last day of May I woke up at 6 30 a.m. so I literally had to in one day completely flip it so that I could go to work tonight um, and I I was gonna do that by trying to stay awake longer but I ended up crashing really hard around midnight. I was super, super sleepy. And then so what I ended up doing is I, I think I woke up around 9 a.m. or something or 7 a.m. like I usually do the last few days. Because when, when you're in the hospital, it like it's hard to stay on a night shift schedule even if you're used to it because they have all the, the meals during the day. They have all the doctor's visits and all the people coming in. Daytime's just a lot more... Um, active so I found that I flipped to a day shift schedule just naturally being in the hospital for like four days in a row uh, so it's, it's time to wake up <laughs> that was one of my many alarms that was the first of my alarms actually so I, I literally normally would be like waking up like right now at the latest if I don't like I basically set my alarm for 4 45 a.m. Uh, p.m. which is right now and um, I do it every 15 minutes from then until 6.30 uh, because I tend to be a hard sleeper. But um, because I woke up so early today, I'm way ahead of the game. Normally, I might wake up naturally like around 3 o'clock, but if I don't, worst case scenario, the latest I'll wake up is 4.45, um, is the hope. But then it, it alarms until I wake up, so sometimes actually I'm in bed till like 5 something. Uh, it doesn't usually go to the 6 o'clock unless I push it the, the day ahead. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, as far as the, the diabetes goes, um, well, actually, since I have my phone right here, I can go through. I have this app called Glucose Buddy. Um, I started tracking all of my blood sugars on there. And um, I haven't done the paid version or anything, so this is all free. But basically, if I look at this, it, it tells me the blood sugars, because I, I enter them live, like live charting, essentially. I live chart my blood sugars into this app, and uh, it registers the time of day and everything on there. So I literally just checked it at uh, 4.36 p.m. My blood sugar after my breakfast today was 202. Prior to that, it was actually 127, which is in the normal range. Um, a little bit technically high but it's not for me for me that was actually a low in the recent blood sugars and I've noticed that my blood sugars in general tend to be trending a little bit downwards I did have a little bit of a heavier breakfast today because I saw some leftover bacon and eggs in the fridge after I had already started cooking so I had extra um, extra scrambled eggs and stuff and extra uh, bacon and then I still had my light yogurt with strawberries as well as uh, one slice of nine grain toast that I put butter on, no jam or anything. Um, but anyway, so it spiked it to about a 202. I got insulin on board, my normal 22 units for my long acting as well as a base of nine units for my short acting. I did not need to increase that from nine units though because my blood sugar is 127. And unless I'm 150 or higher, it doesn't add on extra units. Um, but I do have a pretty high base at 9, which uh, I guess I don't really want to get into that too much because we haven't really discussed it with my d doctors as to when and where that might reduce over time. I'm hoping to lower that, but um, part of that I think is also losing weight. So I'm actually dressed up for the gym right now instead of work. Normally, if I was just going straight to work and I wasn't going to the gym, I'd just dress up really early like this. But um, right now, I'm literally about to head out the door um, to the gym. 
I figured I'd do this real quick before I go. And, uh, I always, like, lately I've been checking my blood sugars before and after the gym as well, which is not necessary, but it's something that I feel like I would like to know. So, uh, when I was talking to my diabetes, um, educator, uh, Teresa, she was saying that she recommends testing more and, more, like, basically they... They tell you you only have to check before each meal and then at the end of the night, which is ACHS if you're a medical uh, person. So if you know the medical terminology, AC being at meal times and HS being at hour of sleep. But anyway, so um, when I talked to Teresa, though, she was like, I actually encourage people to check more frequently than that, like after every meal as well. So I, I tend to do that, and I was already doing that because I'm a inquisitive type of person but anyway um if i go through like my recent blood sugars i'm going backwards in time mind you uh 202 was the most recent 127 120 uh 259 which was after dinner last night and popcorn because i hit a movie um so it was a little bit elevated uh, 168, 116, 96, that was shortly after, that was right after the gym yesterday. Uh, 137, that was right before the gym. 159, that was right after eating. 183, that was right before eating, which was weird because it dropped. Anyway, I mean, this thing's pretty cool, it just registers everything. It also takes a measure of all the steps you take in the day. Um, so yesterday it's saying I took 6.3 thousand. That's because a lot of that was at the gym. And then uh, to and from. I didn't do too much other than my uh, doctor's appointment yesterday. So I actually didn't walk around. I'm actually curious what it'll be after my shift. But anyway. Um, so yeah. I mean that's just one thing that I'm tracking it on. Um, pretty much every day that I've been home I've kept to the same type of breakfast which is essentially not an omelet but a veggie scramble uh bacon on the side peppered thick pick thick, thick peppered bacon to be exact um and then i got usually one slice of uh, whole wheat toast or nine grain toast as well as uh the yogurt sometimes i'll cut the toast out the yogurt it's a light yogurt and it's a uh, with mix like I put it over the top of some freshly cut strawberries um, strawberries being one of the best fruit to eat for a diabetic as well as for people that are dieting but I think it has to do with the glycemic index and it doesn't spike your blood sugar quite as much as other fruits can um, let's see what else anyway for my lunch and dinner normally like, I was thinking I was just going to go straight for the chicken, rice, and broccoli that I meal prepped. But yesterday, last night, I actually fried up some uh, ground turkey. And I just seasoned it with no, no sugar or any kind of seasonings like that. But just, like, garlic powder, onions, um, salt, pepper. Uh, I'm not sure what all I threw in there. And then I think what I ended up doing for the dinner was I made one sandwich with two slices of bread, and that was my carbs. They were nine, the nine-grade bread, which bread isn't the best option. There's definitely better options out there, and I want to look into quinoa as well as uh, some other things. But um, but anyway, so I had like the sandwich, basically, and I put peppers and stuff on top, cheese, and then I topped it with uh, buffalo sauce, which according to the bottle on the buffalo sauce, it's zero carbohydrates, so that doesn't add like ketchup would add because that's pure sugar um so i wouldn't put ketchup on that type of uh sandwich uh i that's why i opted for the buffalo sauce instead it tasted pretty good and then i was still a little bit hungry after that so i actually made a second portion of about the same amount of meat and stuff but without the bread slices and i ate it kind of like a bowl instead um, so I got the ground turkey meat in the fridge, and that's what I ate for dinner last night. I think for lunch yesterday, I did eat the meal-prepped uh, chicken, rice, and broccoli. And then chicken, rice, and broccoli does me pretty well. I'm probably going to bring that tonight just because it's already meal-prepped. And that'll eat through two of the last four that I have remaining. 
um, out of, I believe, the seven that I started with. So, in any case, um, yeah, that's basically where I'm at with my food and nutrition. Uh, I've been hitting the gym last two days in a row, and I'm hitting it today. Like I said, I'm literally dressed up, about to ready to go. Um, going to work for the first time again tonight. It's only one shift, and then tomorrow I have off, which I'm thinking, because I'm behind on uh, shifts and pay, I might try and pick up like a short notice pay if they try calling me, um, which is basically the same thing as a normal shift, but I... I get um, two additional hours, which is the short notice part. Um, so I might do that if they call me tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll take the one more day off, and then I have three more on. Uh, this week will be uh, the first week that I'm kind of going through with everything and seeing how everything jives. Hopefully nothing um, negative comes up. I'm actually packing this, which is a little bag of cashews and... Uh, um, I'm blanking a, like, beef teriyaki, not teriyaki, beef, uh, oh my gosh, what is the word? Beef jerky, yeah, so it's beef jerky and cashews, and I'm just doing that for snacks while I'm at work. Um, the cashews have a small amount of sugar in it, but not much, as well as the, the jerky, but neither of them have a significant amount of sugar, so I don't think either will really spike my blood sugar. Um, I do have my emergency stuff like tablets and stuff and there's always juice and graham crackers like we do with the patients at work. I'm hoping I don't ever have to do that if my blood sugar gets low, but lately, according to my numbers, my blood sugar has had more of an issue going lower than it has uh, with um, not being... I don't know. What I'm trying to say is I've had higher blood sugars lately. And my lower blood sugars have not been an issue. So I'm kind of worried that I might catch up with the insulin and then start dropping and having low blood sugars. Because of the amount of insulin that they're giving me, which is a decent chunk. Uh, as well as uh, 2,000 milligrams of metformin per day, which is 1,000 milligrams in the morning and 1,000 at night. Um, that, by the way, has been messing with my GI system a little bit. I've had a little bit of a looser stool which is a little bit embarrassing to say, but it's true. It's a side effect of the medication that's... I looked it up, and it's 53% of people that take metformin have that side effect. So it's actually more people than not have that as a side effect while taking metformin. So it's very common. So I guess it's something I shouldn't be embarrassed about, but it's just an embarrassing topic, especially to put on something like a video like this. Um... Yeah, I took my medications. This pill container that I bought is uh, doing me really well as far as keeping track of all that. Um, I haven't had an issue with it so far, and I've actually really appreciated myself for taking it upon myself to do that. But, uh, yeah, so far so good with the uh, diabetes management. Um, I've noticed my weight has been kind of bouncing back and forth between one tw or 220 and 225. Um, in the mornings fasted, I'm about 220, and in the middle of the day, I'm more like 225, so that's kind of the fluctuation. When I have food on board and, uh, drinks and stuff, uh, basically it's about 225. Um, when I first wake up in the morning, I haven't eaten for the period of sleep that I've had, and I haven't drank anything while I was sleeping, um, especially after voiding. I end up with about a 220. Uh, I'd like to lower that down. My goal weight in the end, I would say, is probably, like, it's always been like 140-ish um, with a decent muscle mass. Um, maybe 150, 160 with a, a good muscle mass. But, uh, uh, you know, that's pipe dreams. Uh, I'd like to get below 160 for sure as far as, like, just getting the weight off. But, um... I think ultimately my end goal is about 140 with a, a good muscle mass and see see where we go from there because my height, that's not a unimaginable number. Um, so that's basically where I'm at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head to the gym and cut this off. So hopefully you guys have a good day and uh, I guess I'll update you guys again tomorrow if I have time. Um, 
Uh, I should have time because I don't have work tomorrow. But I do have work today, and I have to get going. You guys have a good day, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe below. <laughs> okay, bye.